Right now, a supercarrier the size of a city is pushing through open water with more than 5,000 souls aboard. They are not tourists on vacation. They are sailors running a floating airport, a bakery, a power plant, a hospital, and a small town all at once. Imagine waking to jet blasts, eating in a cafeteria that never sleeps, and steering a 100,000-ton ship across swells taller than houses. How does anyone eat, sleep, and work out here for months without ever pulling over? The reality is stranger, faster, and more disciplined than most people imagine, and that is exactly what we are diving into. Out here, precision keeps people safe and schedules alive. Every action has a checklist, and every checklist has a champion. The ocean is beautiful, but it does not forgive laziness. Small rituals become anchors when miles of water surround you. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button. It helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. By the end of this story, you will know how a $13 billion warship feeds a city at sea, where everyone sleeps, and how the crew keeps the runway on its roof launching and recovering jets day and night. We will follow a tray of bread from the midnight ovens to the breakfast rush, ride an elevator stacked with bombs and milk, then step into the most dangerous four acres in uniformed life. You will hear how fresh water is made, how trash disappears, and how the ship stays supplied when land is a memory on the horizon. Discipline is the secret ingredient in every quiet success. Noise, salt, and wind write the backdrop to every scene. Nothing happens by accident, everything is earned. Steel, steam, and teamwork turn chaos into cadence. The mission sets the tempo, and the crew matches it. Start with food, because morale begins on a plate. The galleys run around the clock, turning out tens of thousands of meals in a day when the air wing flies at full tempo. Bakers walk in before midnight to scale flour, cut dough, and feed ovens that glow like sunrise. Cooks build breakfast for a city, stacking pans of eggs, oats, bacon, and fruit, while dish crews hose steel counters that never stop shining. Every hour has a menu. Coffee never quits. Lines surge, then clear, then surge again. As watch teams rotate through in tight windows, experience gets shared the old way, person to person. Every space has a purpose, and every purpose has a guardian. The work never ends, but the pride does not end either. There is grace in getting the basics right day after day. Where do the ingredients live? down in chill boxes and freezers larger than some grocery stores, with aisles of produce, crates of dairy, and mountains of frozen meat. Dry stores hold pasta, rice, flour, beans, and spices by the pallet. The trick at sea is balance, enough stock for weeks, packed so tightly that nothing shifts when the hull rolls. Inventory teams track every carton and case. When the menu calls for pizza night or steak day, they stage the load by deck, by time, and by station so the right pan lands at the right line at the right minute. You can taste the effort in every bite and see it in every bolt. Courage can be quiet, a nod, a steady hand, a held tongue. Standards matter, especially when the sea rises and the light fades. Before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. Not every meal is a rush. There are quiet touches that feel like home. Fresh bread cooling on racks. A cook who slides an extra spoon of mashed potatoes because it is your birthday. Taco trays under heat lamps on a gray afternoon. The culinary specialists are trained, proud, and competitive. Many hold awards from Navy cook-offs ashore. They do comfort food well, but they also plate salads with care, keep allergens labeled, and handle special diets without drama because 5,000 stomachs do not forgive sloppy planning or shortcuts. Skill arrives through repetition, sweat, and patient teaching. Calm voices carry far when metal and wind make their own music. Good habits travel faster than orders and last longer than storms. Feeding a city is only part one. Everyone needs a rack, a shower, and a sliver of quiet. Birthing spaces pack three tiers of beds into rooms that hum with fans and soft light. Each bunk has a curtain, a reading lamp, a vent, and a shallow locker under the mattress. It is small, but it is yours. And that matters when the day is 12 hours of noise and risk. Senior enlisted share tight staterooms. Junior sailors fill larger bays. Officers have compact cabins, and even the captain lives in quarters that would not impress a city landlord. Every minute has a purpose, and wasted minutes are rare. A city at sea survives on respect, humor, and relentless care. The safest ship is the one where everyone pays attention. Sleep aboard a carrier is a rhythm, not a fixed time. The ship runs 24 hours, so crews rotate through watches and maintenance windows that hopscotch the clock. Earplugs, eye masks, and good shipmates make the difference. There are unwritten rules. Never slam a lid, 
Never flood a rack with light. Never hover to talk during quiet hours. A lucky moment is finding a phone signal in a passageway and opening a message from home before turning in. A perfect moment is catching a breath of fresh air on the fantail at dawn. You can hear professionalism in the small silences between words. Commitment looks like showing up early and leaving nothing undone. Details matter. Standards matter. Shipmates matter. Above all, this is the flight deck, the no excuses workplace. It is four acres of painted lanes, catapult tracks, and arresting wires ringed by the sea. Colored jerseys move like chess pieces. Yellow shirts direct aircraft. Blue shirts handle chains and chocks. Green shirts run catapults and gear. Purple shirts fuel, and red shirts tend to weapons. Every signal is rehearsed. Every step deliberate. One loose cap or wrong gesture can ripple into disaster. Jets launch, trap, taxi, and fold wings with ballet timing in wind, spray, and heat. Safety is love in a language of procedures. Readiness is a muscle built with daily reps. Confidence is quiet. Competence is quieter. The engineering heart beats deep below. Two next-generation reactors drive turbines for steam and electricity that would power a mid-sized city. That output feeds radars, computers, kitchens, lights, workshops, medical gear, and the electromagnetic catapults that fling aircraft into the sky. Reactor watch teams train for years, study procedures until they can recite them in their sleep and treat every reading as a promise to the ship. The margin for error is vanishingly small, so calm professionalism is the culture, always. Out here, precision keeps people safe and schedules alive. Every action has a checklist, and every checklist has a champion. The ocean is beautiful, but it does not forgive laziness. Fresh water is life. The plant drinks the ocean and gives back clear, clean water every day, enough for cooking, showers, laundry, and thirsty machinery. Heat, pressure, and membranes do the magic, turning salt to sweetness while chemists test samples around the clock. Water roots through a maze of pipes to heads, sculleries, and galleys. Short showers are a habit, not a rule, because discipline keeps comfort available for everyone. On hot days, the taste is better than any bottled brand because you watched it being made. Small rituals become anchors when miles of water surround you. Discipline is the secret ingredient in every quiet success. Noise, salt, and wind write the backdrop to every scene. Garbage and sewage vanish because designers and deck plates make them vanish. Food waste is macerated and disposed according to strict rules. Metals are segregated. Cardboard is bailed. Plastics are compacted and stored until the next pier day. Incinerators and shredders reduce volume. Sewage plants treat what they must treat, and nothing leaves the ship in a way that breaks the ocean the crew lives on. Waste is a system of roots and routines, and when it works well, no one notices, which is exactly the point. Nothing happens by accident. Everything is earned. Steel, steam, and teamwork turn chaos into cadence. The mission sets the tempo, and the crew matches it. Medical care rides with the crew. A carrier keeps doctors, nurses, corpsmen, a pharmacy, x-ray capability, dental chairs, operating rooms, and beds for serious cases. Most days it is coughs and cuts, sprains and sore backs. Some days it is stitches at midnight or a difficult tooth that finally gives in. Drills keep the team ready for mass casualty events because the flight deck is unforgiving and the sea does not slow down for emergencies. When evacuation is possible, a helicopter comes. When it is not, the hospital stands tall. Experience gets shared the old way, person to person. Every space has a purpose, and every purpose has a guardian. Communication keeps morale from drifting. Satellite pipes carry email, limited internet, training courses, and video calls when bandwidth allows. Families send photos of first steps, report cards, and new puppies. Sailors answer from a birthing lounge or a quiet corner on a weather deck, grinning into the wind. In earlier eras, months could pass with no contact at all. Now even a short note reshapes a hard day. The connection is rationed and protected for operations, but leadership knows that a message home can refuel a whole division. The work never ends, but the pride does not end either. There is grace in getting the basics right, day after day. Weather is both opponent and stage. The ship can take heavy seas, but safety drives every decision. When swells stack like rooftops, flight ops pause and chains get another check. The hull's weight damps the roll, but everyone walks with a hand on the bulkhead. Storm days belong to engineers and maintainers who use the lull to replace filters, fit new seals, and recalibrate sensors. Then the front passes, the wind lines up down the angle deck, and the rhythm snaps back on as if someone flipped a switch marked go. You can taste the effort in every bite and see it in every bolt. Courage can be quiet, a nod, a steady hand, a held tongue. 
Navigation is a quiet obsession. On the bridge, watchstanders sweep radar, scan the horizon and speak a language of bearings and ranges that keeps clear lanes through crowded straits and empty blue. The conning officer practices gentle rudder orders that feel like sliding a building sideways. The navigator thinks days ahead, eyes on weather, refueling windows, and tasking that can change with a single message. There is pride in making good time, but there is more pride in safety delivered without drama, watch after watch. Standards matter, especially when the sea rises and the light fades. Skill arrives through repetition, sweat, and patient teaching. A city at sea needs shops, and the ship has them by the dozen. Machine shops cut metal to micrometers. Welders ditch steel. Electricians test test circuits that snake for miles behind panels. Airframes crews replace panels with the ease of a pit crew. Supply rates turn paperwork into parts. Tracing a bolt from a warehouse to a workbench faster than a car shop can source a gasket. The mantra is the same everywhere. Fix it now and fix it right because there is no shoulder to pull onto when the ocean is your highway. Calm voices carry far when metal and wind make their own music. Good habits travel faster than orders and last longer than storms. Training never ends. Fire parties run hose drills in full gear until muscle memory takes over. Damage control teams practice patching pipes with wedges and cloth while water hammers the bulkhead. Medical runs mass casualty rehearsals where actors wear moulage and clocks tick loud. Bridge teams practice steering by hand and voice, then practice again in blackout conditions. The reason is simple. The moment you need a skill is never the moment to learn it in, and 5,000 lives are a responsibility you prepare for daily. Every minute has a purpose, and wasted minutes are rare. A city at sea survives on respect, humor, and relentless care. Culture grows in steel hallways. The library guards quiet. The gym thumps at odd hours because shifts stagger. Chaplains lead services for many faiths, but also walk the decks just to ask, how are you holding up? On calm days, a steel beach picnic shows up on the flight deck with grills, music, and a horizon that looks painted. Departments challenge each other to bench press contests or trivia brawls. Birthdays get a cake, promotions get a ceremony, and re-enlistments get a photo with wake froth curling like lace behind the stern. The safest ship is the one where everyone pays attention. You can hear professionalism in the small silences between words. The reason this all works for months is resupply at sea. Two ships steam side by side at speed while crews pass fuel through thick hoses and slide pallets across tensioned lines. It is a ballet of knots and physics. Bananas ride beside bolts. Mail lands with more cheers than any dessert. Ammunition moves under strict checklists that start in a whisper and end in a shout. When the last load clears, the ships shear out and salute with horns. The carrier's city exhales, the galleys stock up, and the planes plan another long day. Commitment looks like showing up early and leaving nothing undone. Details matter. Standards matter. Money buys metal, but people give it purpose. A $13 billion ship is a shell without deck plates who know their craft. The food tastes good because a culinary specialist checked the seasoning. The arresting wire catches a jet because a green shirt listened to a bearing. The lights work because electricians cleaned contacts until they shone. Pride is not a speech. It is a handoff at 3 in the morning, a neat tool cart, and a checklist signed without shortcuts. Shipmates matter. Safety is love in a language of procedures. Readiness is a muscle built with daily reps. Confidence is quiet. Competence is quieter. Technology evolves. Electromagnetic catapults replace steam. Advanced arresting gear replaces hydraulics. Sensors fuse more data than ever. And networks thread work centers together, so a fault in one place pops up on a screen in another. Yet the truth endures. People make the difference. A new console still needs a sharp watchstander. A clever diagnostic still needs a wrench turned with care. The future is brighter lights and safer systems, but the heart of the ship stays very human, beating to the tempo of work done well. The ocean is beautiful, but it does not forgive laziness. Small rituals become anchors when miles of water surround you. Danger never leaves, it only gets managed. Every evolution has a brief. Every station has a safety observer. Every mishap report gets read so the next person does not repeat the last mistake. The reward is not just fewer injuries. It is a crew that trusts one another. Trust turns into speed. Speed turns into tempo. Tempo turns into presence where it matters, when it matters. That presence can deter a crisis, carry help after a storm, or simply remind the world that help and resolve can arrive from over the horizon. Discipline is the secret ingredient in every quiet success. Noise, salt, and wind write the backdrop to every scene. If you could stand on the island at sunset, 
you would see the whole city inhaling for the night cycle. On the mess decks, a baker scores loaves for the next dawn. In the hangar bay, a yellow shirt chalks a plan for the first launch. Deep in auxiliary, a machinist listens to a pump and hears the whisper that says, replace that seal now. In berthing, a sailor pins a photo of home beside a book light and pulls the curtain. It is ordinary and immense at the same time. Nothing happens by accident, everything is earned. Steel, steam, and teamwork turn chaos into cadence. The mission sets the tempo, and the crew matches it. So, how do 5,000 people eat, sleep, and work in the middle of the ocean without quitting? With planning measured in minutes and months, with logistics that never blink, with training that burns away panic, and with stubborn pride and craft. The ship is a machine, but the village aboard is a promise kept by hands and habits. If this glimpse into life at sea earned your curiosity, add a note below for the shipmates who do this work, and join us for more stories from the floating city that never closes. Experience gets shared the old way, person to person. Every space has a purpose, and every purpose has a guardian. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot.